going to talk about the usage and importance of lightweight deflectometer also known as the LWD when starting any construction work or work of any other kind related to soil it is important to know the properties of the soil where the work is being held properties which give the total information regarding the soil are the in situ density and elastic modulus both these properties can be measured at the site using lwd this is the base plate this is the base weights of 10 kg these are the additional weights of 5 kg each there are two of these additional weights so that the total weights can go up to 20 kg these are called as shock absorbers or buffer stacks here you can see two types of buffer stacks on the left you can see a buffer stack which is made of four pads on the right you can see a buffer stack made of two pads this is the weight catch assembly which also has a safety latch this is attached to the top of the rod and the weight is dropped from it this also has a lock pin which has two positions lock and unlock to release the falling weight for the experiment this is known as the main unit the main unit has an integral load cell a center deflection sensor electronics unit wireless module with battery compartment the main part is the center deflection sensor which has the geophone this is the main loading plate this goes at the very bottom of the apparatus place the 300 mm diameter loading plate on the ribbed rubber pad Place the main unit in the center of the 300 mm plate. Rotate the main unit counterclockwise until the indicator pin is at the end of the groove at the 300 mm engraved mark. Lock the three snaps lock according to what is being shown in the video. Let us now see how to set up the shock absorbers. First, we put the grey colored two pad shock absorber at the bottom and black colored four pad shock absorber at the top. This gives us a combination of shock ab absorbers. which can take 10 kg of weight to get a 15 kg shock absorber combination first put the black colored two pad shock absorber at the bottom and gray colored four pad shock absorber at the top finally to get a 20 kg setup we add gray shock absorbers at both the top and the bottom here the markings on the rod are shown These points can be used as reference points while doing the experiment. This is the 10 kg weight and we have two more 5 kg weights. We can have three arrangements of 10 kg, 15 kg and 20 kg from these three weights. The assembly for the 20 kg weight is being shown here. First The 10 kg weight is kept at the base then out of the 5 kg weights one with four holes is placed in the middle and tightened with the bolts using the allen key
then the other 5 kg weight is placed on the top of that and tightened similarly as before using the bolts. For our experiment, we are going to use 15 kg weight. The 15 kg weight is placed slowly and carefully on the top of the LWD apparatus. The LWD apparatus is then carried on the trolley from the laboratory to the site. The geophone which is located at the base plate of the LWD is shown in the video. The LWD apparatus is unloaded from the trolley onto the base rubber pad such that the center of the base plate coincides with the center of the rubber pad. This is a weight catch assembly. It consists of a locking collar which secures the catch assembly in place, a weight release trigger which breaks the electromagnetic circuit, a safety latch and an electromagnet which holds weight in place. The average pressure and average deflection is calculated from the experiment. Now we apply the formula that is given in the video. Here F is the factor of stress distribution which is taken as 2. Mu is the poison ratio of soil which is taken as 0.35. Sigma naught is the stress under plate, D naught is the center deflection and A is the radius of plate. 